Sup? This is Alex Chu. Today I want to keep on talking about my uh, cell realignment machine. Um, that I just, you know, the, the new one, the, the one that was the gun turret. I want to keep on talking more about that. Uh, how, how exactly how it works, okay? To explain to people the mac uh, mechanism of this this incredible machine. But anyway, before I talk about that, I want to tell you, my name is Alex Chu. I'm the guy who invented physical physical mortality rings. These are the rings that you put on during sleep. You put on your small fingers during sleep. You wear them, you don't age anymore. You become physically immortal, you know? I'm already 48. I look pretty good. And then uh, if you go to my website, uh, livemuchlonger.com, the link is at the bottom of this video, livemuchlonger.com, you can see lots of testimonials from Amazon customers. Most of them give me like four stars or five stars. If you're interested in becoming immortal, okay, you gotta buy one of these, you know, a pair of these rings. It's livemuchlonger.com, livemuchlonger.com, okay? But anyway, let's talk about, keep on talking about my machine. <coughs> see, this is a, the, the new machine that I have uh, built. It has a gun turret, it's made out of cardboard, okay? In front of it is the this is the front end of the machine. In front of it is the capacitor. The back end it's just empty. It's just empty, and, and then the the electrons shoot out. You know, travels into your flesh, and then goes back the other direction, and then comes back into the the positive side of the capacitor. That's how it works. Okay. Basically, look. You know, the theory behind this is it's sort of like remote control. You know. It's sort of like remote control. You know how when you try to re you have a remote control, you tr control your TV with it, right? If the frequency is not set correctly, the remote control is not going to work. You're not going to change nothing, right? You're not going to move anything. You know, you have to tune the frequency of your remote control to the the machine that you're you're using. You know, you have to tune it to right to to fit the machine, or else nothing will work. And this this machine is the same thing. It, sp it spews out electrons, okay, to realign your cells. But then, if if I didn't tune it correctly, if the, you know, the frequency out of the capacitor, out of the resistor is not 100% correct, it's not going to do anything. It's it would just it would just make you feel uncomfortable. You will feel strange energy. You will feel strange, uncomfortable f energy shooting at you. But then it doesn't really do anything. You understand? You have to tune it to a certain degree so that it resonates with your flesh, so that it could realign your cells. And basically, it's like if you have injury, any kind of injury, like scar or spinal cord injury, you know, or I don't know, cancer or arthritis or multiple sclerosis, asthma, what kind, any kind of inflammation or scar. You know, it's basically your cell structures like this, all fucked up. You know, it's uh, they're, they're all messy and, and fucked up, and then your it's scar tissue start to form. You know, scar tissue are basically messy cells. They don't they don't connect correctly. You know, and w when you when you put the when you use the machine and you tune it correctly, you got the frequency correct, everything. The machine shoots out a bell, a, a belt of electrons, and it, it will slowly. You know, the more you, you use the machine, the more your your cells would basically they would re reconnect. They would try to reconnect, and then they would they would become denser. They would pack up again, and then eventually they would become perfect. You know, just like they they will become brand new again. Just just like how you were born. Just like you were born with it. You know, no more scar, no more in injury. Just perfect alignment. You know, this is that's the reason why I call my my machine the cell realignment machine okay and the mechanism behind this machine is is like this when I first started uh, making this machine uh, I only have like capacitors and resistors right there is no gun turret nothing you know and I had a timer I had I, I installed a timer because I, I noticed when I shut off the when the time when the, the timer basically sh shuts the machine on and off on and off when the machine is shut off I, I felt a gush of chi energy coming out of the machine. And I felt I felt healing. You know, I didn't understand that phenomena quite well. I didn't understand what that was. So I I just installed a timer. You know, so it it sort of like turned the machine on and off, on and off. And whenever it shuts down, when the machine shuts down, I 
you can feel a gush of healing. Now I, I know. I now I sort of understand what it is. It's uh, when you shut off the capacitor, the electrons start to leak out of the capacitor in in volumes. You know, in, in I mean, in like uh, batch quantity, it starts to all, leak out all at the same time, and it creates a belt. It creates a huge, long white belt. You know, that can shoot all the way into your flesh, and if you further tune the capacitor and the uh, resistor to resonate with the flesh, the, the he more healing you will experience. Okay. And then one day, and, but, but I, eventually I got rid of that timer thing, you know, because the timer thing, it's not very efficient. It can only, it can only try to heal your body like once every five minutes. You can imagine it's once every five minutes. That's, that's not a lot of healing. That's, you can only, and back in the days, the earlier machine, you can only lie there for like and receive like thirty minutes of healing. Imagine it's sh every five minutes shuts on and off, on and off, and it's, it's not a, it's really it's not a lot of healing, you know. So I got rid of it. <coughs> Eventually, I fine tuned the capacitor and the resistor to make it resonate with the flesh. So without the timer, it still kind of worked, you know. And then one day, uh, one of my customer, I was building this machine. I Send it to my customer using using this box. We, I used to, I used to have like a like a vent cover here. You know, I used to have vent cover on my machine. Then I I realized something. You know, uh, I, I for some reason I took off the vents. You know, I threw away the vents. You know, because I mean it's an experimental machine. I don't need the decoration, right? So I threw off the vents. I tore off the vent. I threw it away. When I did that, I actually felt more healing, you know. And I was wondering why do I felt more? Why do I feel more healing without the vents? Then I started to develop the theory that this this box, okay, this box is creating a turbine. You see, you see this. If the front is empty, the the back is also empty. No vent, no nothing. That the it, it kind of create a turbine, it, like like jet engine, you know. It creates a turbine. That electrons will somehow shoot out from the front and enters back, enters back into the machine through the back. See, see, without the spots, just the capacitor alone, there's no turbine. Basically, the electrons will just go. You know, it, it's it becomes a it becomes sort of like a small ball. You know, the 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 belt of the electrons becomes a small ball, and then it doesn't do anything. You put it, you put the machine near your injury it still doesn't do anything because it's so enclosed it's just a small ball but when you have a whole box like this it sort of create a turbine you know the, the electrons are forced to shoot out shoot out from the machine travel a certain distance and then comes back to the other side you know and then I toil with this idea for a while it, it does I feel a lot more healing but then not just subtle, just I feel healing and I heal myself for like 30 minutes and then but then one day I like about a week ago uh, two weeks ago I was thinking what if I add a turbine what if I I mean not a turbine what if I just build myself a gun turret you know a much smaller gun turret a lot smaller than this whole box just you know like the size of you know just like what you see right here two inches by two inches and maybe by five inches and a half like a gun turret made out of cardboard and I did that and immediately, wow, I felt a tremendous amount of healing. And then I, I discovered one thing, okay. See, uh, with this, this gun, with, without this gun turret, right, the electrons will travel out, it will shoot out, and then go right back in there, you know. So basically it creates a small ball, and then it's like a, the belt is very, very narrow. It's very small. It's like maybe... The radius is very small. It's like this this size, you know. So it's very. It becomes extremely difficult to control. You you want to if you put the machine too far away from you, you don't feel anything. You put the machine too close to you. What happens is, you see the the front end of the machine shoots out lots of electrons. You know when you too when too much electrons shoot into the flesh, what happens is it just it creates a traffic jam. You know like like how you like you know if you ever drive a manual clutch. You know, transmission. I'm talking about car, right? If you suddenly release the cut clutch uh, pedal, you know, you just suddenly release it. What happens is the clutch will immediately engage with your transmission, and the, the whole car will just stall. You know, 
You understand? Basically, it's just too much, too much power. When, when you add too much power, you engage immediately. The whole car would just stall. Same thing. When you put this machine too, when you put the capacitor too near your flesh, the the whole thing would just stall. The healing would simply stall because it, it, it you're giving it too much energy. You're in, you're inducing too much energy, and energy when there's too much energy, there's too much resistance and too much heat generated. Right? Basically, you're creating this traffic jam in, in your flesh and it doesn't really do anything. It it might create a little bit of healing, but eventually it stalls. You understand? But then after I install the gun turret, and then I block off, I seal off some some empty spaces here. And now the electrons they shoot out a lot wider. The the belt becomes a lot wider. You understand? It becomes maybe it's it becomes like this wide. You know? It becomes like this wide or something. You know? And then the, the belt is a lot more wider. Now it's a lot easier to control. Now, all you have to do is push it all the way to the limit. You know, I, I recorded it. It's about like 20 inches or 25 inches away from my flesh and away from the injury. Then the, the, the belt can now skim. It could skim your flesh. What happened is at the very, very, uh, at the very edge of the, this belt, it, it skins your flesh, and then you could feel a, a a river of energy flowing through your flesh, and then it becomes sort of like a gear. It becomes sort of like the gear is turning. This machine is a gear, okay, and your body is an, another gear. And when the, the gear of the machine turns, your the gear of the your body also has to turn. You understand? There's no more. It it, it doesn't stall anymore because. You don't suddenly release the pedal and then release the clutch pedal and, and basically stall the whole transmission. Right now, it basically just skims. It skims your transmission. You understand? And, and it does. It moves your transmission. So basically, without if you now it's a lot easy with the scun turret. It's a lot easier to control. The belt is a lot wider, and when the the belt touches your skin, it skims your skin. It skims your flesh, and then now. Your your chi start to move, and then with this machine, you know, you can give yourself like three hours of healing, and you still feel the healing. You still feel, and then when you heal, when your body heals, you, you start to jerk, you know, because whenever there's a chi blockade uh, broken through, you, you start to jerk. You, uh, you start to jerk, you know. You you be lying on your bed and you be jerking like that. You could feel the the chi blockade is being broken through, you know. This is amazing. This shit is amazing, man. I mean, now with the scun turret, it's it's a lot easier. the The belt is is a lot wider, and it's a lot easier for you to control. You know, just like twenty inches or twenty five inches away. I, it depends on how you design the thing. Maybe if the gun turret is a lot a little shorter, then the belt would be a, a lot smaller. I'm not sure, you know, but I'm lucky enough to get this design to to just you know to have this design, and I tuned the capacitor and the resistor. You know, to a certain degree, so that it resonates with your flesh. You know, so it, it could it becomes sort of like a gear that it could turn. It could somehow turn the energy inside your body. It could turn the chi chi energy in your body. You know. See another. Uh, I want to show you another thing. Is this this garlic? This is a garlic mincer. What you do is you you put a piece of garlic in here, and then here's a wheel. You know, you 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 basically you turn the wheel, and then there's a lot of small blades inside it. Cuts the garlic, cut it into granules, right? When when you put a large chunk of garlic in here, and you you turn it really fast, what happens is it just simply it, it it will stall. You know the you can hear the the blade uh, grinding each other. You could hear that, and it's not good. It, you could. You know, if you do that too much, you could break it, you understand? So what you have to do is, when you put a large chunk of garlic in here, you have to, you have to sort of turn it very, very slowly, you know, steadily, slowly, like that, you know? So it could cut, cut the garlic. If you, you know, if you, if you rush it, if you're too impatient, you just go like that, you could break the, you can break the blade, you know? And I want to say, this is a, as an example to the machine also. When, when you... Put the machine too near your body, it could only cause traffic jam, because suddenly you have so much electron shooting out of this capacitor, into it, suddenly so much electron travel into your flesh, 
it doesn't do anything. It only causes a uh, traffic jam. You could only heat up your flesh. You could, you could, uh, you know, c cause inflammation in your injury. And su suddenly, so much electrons shoot into one spot. It doesn't really do any. It stalls the whole healing process. That's the reason why you have to push this thing away, and then let the the, you know, the edge of the belt, the edge of the electron belt, skim your flesh. You understand? Yeah. The edge, see, the, the electrons that shoot all the way to the edge, they, they, I, I, I assume they travel a lot slower. Or the belt is bigger, so it's, it appears that they travel a lot slower. You know how our solar system, right? Uh, the, the, the planets that's closest to the sun, they travel very fast. And then all the other stars, I mean, all the other planets like Jupiter, they, they, they sort of, you know, they have a wider race track. So it appears that they travel a lot slower. The same. This is the same thing. When electrons shoot all the way to all the way to the edge, they sort of like they appear to travel a lot slower, and then and then and then their their travel is also a lot more steady, you know, so that they can produce the skim effect, you know, it skims your energy, and then causing your your own chi to move, and then therefore this this machine becomes a gear. And then your your energy, your chi energy, and your body it becomes another gear. So when this gear turns, your your chi also has to turn, and you could immediately jerk and jerk, and then you could feel the, you know, chi blockade being broke broken through. With this technology, you can you can heal almost anything. You know, any any kind of handicap, people who are born blind or, you know, got you know got fucked up in a car accident, become blind or become deaf, whatever, you know, or whatever kind of injury or even spinal cord injury you know or you're deaf in one year because of you know because of loud noises whatever you know it or even cancer or even t I don't know it you know I mean multiple sclerosis asthma whatever you know this thing can heal it with this technology it could heal it you understand so anyway that's all I want to say for cover for today just want to let you guys know the the theory behind this machine you know the the mechanics of how this machine really works. Oh, I forgot to tell you that. Uh, hold on a minute. Yeah, I, rec uh, I receive a dream. It's like basically a dream. It's like somebody is some asshole, some old old white guy is like trying to steal my credit. You know, trying to say in the future somebody will say, "Oh no, Alex Chu didn't did not invent this shit." You know, uh, probably would try to credit, you know, this technology to some, some, maybe George Lukowski or something, because that guy, uh, I discovered, George Lukowski, he filed a patent for capacitor machines, you know, his, his, uh, multi-wave generator, whatever, but then those, that's a totally different technology, it is, the, he also used capacitors, he used lots and lots of capacitors, not just one, he has, like, huge antenna, and it's totally different, it has, it's totally different from what I have, you know. It's he doesn't have the tunnel. He doesn't, you know. And then his capacitor is oscillating. My capacitor does not oscillate. It's just basically it's just closed circuit. It does not oscillate at all. His capacitor is oscillating, and he has a lot. He has like at least a hundred capacitor in his machine. It's very very messy and all that, you know. So whoever I think this machine will catch on in the future, everybody will use this machine to heal heal themselves. You know, you know. And it's that time somebody will try to steal my credit. Somebody will say, "Oh, Alex, you he didn't invent this shit." No, fuck that guy. I invented this. So I, I document this thing, you know, on YouTube. I, I copy. I go. I file a copyright in the post office. I mean, in the copyright office. And then I, I also f update my website using a uh, internet archive and shit. But anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye.